Well, have you ever heard the saying they really stirred up a hornet's nest? This is what that looks like. Oh, they are hitting me hard. They're coming out of there, ready to attack. We're gonna start peeling this away and seeing what's inside. In today's Mousetrap Monday video, you're gonna get a close-up look at what's inside an active bald-faced hornet nest. Over my shoulder here is a pretty large paper nest about the size of a soccer ball. And inside is a colony of bald-faced hornets. They're not honeybees, instead, they're large stinging insects that are hunters and scavengers, and they can be extremely aggressive. This is as close as I dare get to the nest, and even as I get closer, I can see the soldiers coming out, they're ready to attack. So I'm gonna put on the bee suit and we're gonna take it apart piece by piece. Now the reason I'm destroying it is, it's pretty dangerous to have in my backyard. A couple weeks ago, a friend of ours got stung by a bald-faced hornet, so I was watching for the nest and I finally found it. Usually they're way up at the top of a tree, usually a cottonwood tree, but this one is at ground level, so it's perfect for filming. I'm gonna zoom in, put on the bee suit, be completely protected, and we're gonna take it apart so I can show you what's inside. These hornets are not gonna be happy. As soon as we start, there's gonna be a tornado of buzzing and stinging, but fortunately, I'm protected. Don't try this at home. Let's take a look at what's inside this bald-faced hornet nest. Well, have you ever heard the saying they really stirred up a hornet's nest? This is what that looks like. Oh, they are hitting me hard. They're coming out of there, ready to attack. We're gonna start peeling this away and seeing what's inside. Well, as you can see, the openings on the bottom, there are dozens and dozens, probably hundreds of these large bald-faced hornets coming out to defend their nest. We're gonna take apart this paper piece by piece. If I didn't have the bee suit, I would be in a world of hurt. They build this paper out of the fiber of bark. It's pretty cool. And it's built in layers. As they expand and make a larger colony, they just add paper. This probably has 10 different layers. It almost looks like toilet paper. Although I wouldn't want to use this as toilet paper right now. Man, these are pretty aggressive and angry. We'll just peel off this exterior paper. So it's pretty much hollow on the bottom with the opening, and up top we're starting to see multi-layers. Again, these aren't honeybees, there's no honey. They're just bald-faced hornets, and they are stinging my leather gloves and flying away with the stingers inside the glove. I don't know if you can see all those layers. We're starting to get to the chambers where they have larvae. Oh, it just fell out of the tree, so let's zoom in on the ground and take a closer look. You can see my face and how many bald-faced hornets are going for my face. I would be in a world of hurt if this protecting cover failed. I have had yellow jackets get under the zipper before, and that's a nightmare when they're in your face. But uh, right now I'm feeling pretty comfortable. The suit seems to be working well. And here is the multi-layers. Let's zoom in and take a look at them. So you can see how they build the different layers. This is brand new. They expand and work their way out, so the oldest ones are pretty wide. The next level here is about five inches wide, and this one's pretty small. It doesn't even have any eggs in it. You have that honeycomb shape, but inside here's one that's just emerging, and you can see different layers of the larva. They get fed, and their heads are sticking out. And then when they're ready to pupate, they cover this up. It almost looks like a cotton covering. Then they chew their way out like this one and become an adult. That's pretty fascinating. That just emerged right there. It's pretty soft bodied and it's pretty large. Here's a pupa. Almost looks like a worm and it wiggles all over. Here's the next layer down. As you can see, they're constantly laying new eggs and hatching out new members of their colony. And they defend this pretty fiercely. There's a bunch of adults down in this side. There she is. We have the queen. Well, now you know what it looks like when you kick a bald-faced hornet nest. They're pretty aggressive. I'm gonna make sure that no one comes in this area for quite a while, but I am gonna take the larva. We're gonna get a closer look at it, and then we're gonna feed it to a skunk in the backyard. So let's go inside, get rid of all these adults that are trying to attack me, and we'll look at the larva. Well, as you can see, this is slightly less stressful than having all those bald-faced hornets flying around trying to sting me. Now we can look closely at the larva. It's pretty interesting. 
Here's some young ones wanting to be fed. You can see their head. And these are starting to make the casing, it's almost complete. Then they'll go inside and start to metamorphosize, grow the wings and the legs, and come out and emerge as young bald-faced hornets. And here's the queen, the egg-laying machine. Well, that's quite a change. They start out as a larva, and then they go inside, seal off the chamber, and grow wings and legs. And this is pretty small compared to that huge queen right here. As I mentioned earlier, one of the favorite foods of the skunk are the larvae of a yellow jacket or bald-faced hornet. If they find a nest underground, they'll even dig it up. So this would be quite a feast for a skunk. I'm going to end the video by placing this in the backyard and seeing if a skunk comes along and enjoys all these protein-packed meals. I'm going to do that with this side, but with this chamber, I'm going to take fishing. These would make great bait to catch bass and bluegill, so I'm going to hook them up on the fly rod and see how many fish we can catch. But that will be another video. Now normally, I'm posting videos about catching mice and rats, but sometimes I branch out and show you how to trap yellow jackets, bald-faced hornets, and deal with the nests. I'll put a list down below of some of my favorite videos on how to catch yellow jackets and bald-faced hornets. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted almost 800 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and sometimes yellow jackets and bald-faced hornets, Stay tuned. Now let's go feed a skunk.